Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the number of recently used apps that show in your dock on macOS. In macOS Mojave, Apple introduced a new feature where the last three recently used applications remain in your dock, but it's always been limited to three. However, in using a simple terminal command, we can change that so that we can change that number to whatever we would like. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so if we just open up a couple of applications here, we'll get an idea of what the default settings are. So if I just open up things like Word, PowerPoint, and maybe even Excel here, we'll give it a moment to open, but um, they're going to limit it to the previous free applications. So if we just, I haven't opened these uh, apps on this user before, but uh, if we just open them up and then quit them, just run through this quickly. Um, you'll see that when we go through, you can see that the last three apps have remained in the dock. So you can see that they're all uh, hanging in here. But then if I try to open in another app that isn't in the dock, such as Notion, you'll see that Microsoft Word then went away because there was no room for it. It only keeps the last three applications. However, this can be changed with a simple terminal command. So in my notes here, I have got a terminal command here. And the way this works is it just simply changes the code so that instead of having three apps that are in the dock, uh, three use recently used apps, this one changes it to 10. But however, you can change this number to whatever you would like. So I'm going to leave this code in the description below so that you can uh, use it for yourself. But what you're going to need to do is open up Terminal. So you can go into Spotlight or Applications or however you want to get to Terminal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this into Terminal. All right, so what I've done here is I've copied and pasted the code from Note into the Terminal window here. Now, as you can see, sometimes it doesn't copy and paste with the correct format. So doing it from notes for some unknown reason has added in this sort of 2028 inside of these um, little arrow heads here. So um, it shouldn't be doing that. Like if, you, if I try to enter this in, it won't work. So occasionally when you copy and paste it, it won't work. So you may have to type it out. Um, so what we can do here is type it out, default right com dot apple dot doc show dash recent bool is true. And then we're going to go default right com dot apple dot doc show recent count int 10. And then we're going to kill all doc. So by doing this, this is going to respring the doc and then it is going to allow for 10 applications to be in there. So if I click it through here now, you can see that it resprung for a moment there. And if I pull in some additional applications here now, what we can do is open up some extra ones. So we'll use like maybe Microsoft Edge and go back into Excel and um, Maybe things like um, voice memos and weather and um, stocks. That should do for now. We've opened all these applications. And now if I quit out of them all, here, yeah, so as I'm quitting them, you'll see that when we quit here, you'll see that they're all remaining in the dock. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the dock. Uh, this will hold up to 10 before it will start uh, removing them. Now, we can also decrease the amount that is stored in the dock. So what, what I can do here 
click the up arrow. So once you've typed it out once, you only need to do it once. Then you can click the up arrow in terminal and it will bring back your most recent command. And then we're going to backspace it and we're going to change this int number. That is what uh, we need to change here to change the number of apps. So let's say I only want to have one recently used app in the dock. I can do that and then just type in what was missing there, do that there. And you'll see it will only allow one recently used app. So if I try to open up something else like stickies, it's only allowing one. Now the reason that there's two in here is because we've got the terminal open as well. So now that I've quit stickies, we've just got one. So you can see there that that has set the dock to just one. Now, if we ever want to revert back to the standard, all we have to do is um, go through here and click the up arrow and then backspace it and then change it to int three. Int just stands for integer. And then we're going to put in kill or dock again. And it should be back to the default of free. So if we open up our applications and open some apps here, it should start to allow things to be shown uh, free at a time. So we'll just open some extra apps here. And you'll see that it's now limiting it to free apps in the recently used section of the dock. So that's a pretty simple process on how you can change the number of recently used apps in your dock on macOS at any one time. It saves you constantly having to go options removed from dock if you don't want things to be sitting there. So it's a really nice way that you can just limit it uh, to whatever number you want, or you can expand the number of recently used apps if you would like to have more of them at the same time. So that's really helpful if you're willing to go into the terminal a little bit and doing some little bit of basic command line. So as I said, I'll leave this linked in the description below, but if it doesn't work and it does that weird 2028 thing or it puts some other characters in because it's not formatted correctly uh, and it spits out an error when you try to run it, just type it out. There's not too much here to write type it out directly into the terminal and then it will definitely run then as well. And you don't have to worry about putting enters in between these things. You can just put spaces because if you click enter, it will try to run it. So just put space after the uh, semicolons and then click enter once you've written it, kill all docs. So that's how you can do it. So yeah, that's the process on how you can change the number of recently used apps that are shown in your dock on macOS. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in changing the number of recently used apps that are shown on your Mac. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.